Live look outside now. Streets in the loop. You can see the rain on shiny streets as cars mm. taking it slow. Dark night, but it is slick out already. Yes, here's another live look. I-88 westbound. You can see definitely in need of those wipers out there. More rain. Chief Meteorologist Albert Ramon is here. Albert, in just hours, that rain could turn hazardous for drivers. Yeah, icy, snowy, sleety mix between 2 and 4 a.m., but in the immediate future, now through midnight, they have downpours, and we also have rapid snow melt because of the rain and because temperatures have been above freezing for several hours, so there is a bit of a street flood threat now through midnight. This is a look at the radar from the last three hours. A bit of an uptick in intensity when it comes to rainfall right over the city and the reason for that a front is moving right through the city right now behind the front as cold as 39 McHenry ahead of the front as mild as 53 in Gary 50 in Valparaiso and the cold air continues to stream in as the night goes on. So now through midnight downpours continue. Then we are going to pivot from springtime rain to winter mode in a big way and between 2 and 4 a.m. This is a look at 3 a.m. So 2 and 4 a.m. will have rain transitioning to sleet and freezing rain to even snow. It's a pretty small window because all the data I'm seeing tonight has a lot of this moisture kicking out of here by 5 a.m. with the exception of some sleet and freezing rain in parts of northwest Indiana. So some slick spots tomorrow morning, but when it comes to new precipitation, we're going to hold off until late tomorrow morning. This is a look at 11 a.m. and here comes the snow. The snow will increase late tomorrow morning will be widespread tomorrow afternoon. Some of it will be heavy 1, 2, 3, 4 p.m., including for the afternoon and evening rush blowing snow because of strong northerly winds gusting above 40 miles per hour and then by 10 o'clock 24 hours from now we're pretty much done with the exception of some lake effect snow in parts of Laporte and Porter County. This is a brand new projection on snowfall totals. All of the new models that have come in this evening have backed off a bit when it comes to snowfall totals. So I think one inch or less lake in McHenry County up towards the north. One to three inches from Schaumburg stretching off into DeKalb. From downtown into DuPage County to Joliet to even Morris. We're now in that two to four inch range when it comes to snowfall. Southern areas of Cook County into Will County, all of Kankakee County and points off towards the southwest. Four to six inches, four to six on the rim of the lake here in northwest Indiana. And there could still be a few spots south of Kankakee, south of Valparaiso near Rensselaer that exceeds six inches of snowfall fall, but the trend tonight backing off a bit, just a bit on snowfall totals. That being said, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening will be difficult travel, and that's why that winter storm will be posted from Chicago southward and back off towards the southeast, northern areas of Cook County and out towards the western suburbs. You're under a winter weather advisory because accumulating snow, yes, it's going to happen, but not nearly as much as down south in the winter storm warning. 29 blowing snow for tomorrow's afternoon's evening's uh, drive home, and then we're done with the snow tomorrow Tomorrow night we're cold Friday morning 9 to start the day 27 in the afternoon 26 on Saturday and then a bit of a warming trend Sunday and Monday with 40s back in town. So we'll keep you updated all night long here on CBS 2. All right, Albert, thank you.